gosh. You guys haven't heard? <laughs> Did his beard eat her? Hey. Hey, everyone. Hey. Hi. Kenny. Mm-hmm. Okay, starting the hand. No, wait a second. Wait a second. What do you mean you guys haven't seen each other in a week? Oh. Well, he's quarantining himself from me in our condo. I'm in the left wing. He's in the right. And no, uh-uh. I do not have the virus. Ah. She took some very stupid risks, and I'm just using an overabundance of caution. I went to Trader Joe's with a mask and gloves, and I came home and I showered right away. Our safe cocoon was breached. Oh, my God. Kenny, buddy, this is crazy, man, even for you. I, I have a heart condition. I'm a high risk. Can you eat too much bacon? How is that high risk? This is exactly the kind of thing that will take me down, I promise you. Look what it did to Italy. You're not even Italian. I'm half Italian. Wait a sec. Kenny, what is that growing on your face? Wait a second, Poopy. You haven't seen the beard? <laughs> I mean, when I saw it last week, it was a stubble. Why is this the thing you overachieve at? <laughs> Good one. Good one. Hey, listen, we're all here. Can we please just put... Oh, my God. Where did you even find a ladder? I'll be back. Oh, you guys are in trouble. Yeah, guys, I'm not going to have a whole lot of time tonight either. Dallas, I promised her that we'd watch a movie. She didn't know who Bill Murray was, so I told her we watched Stripes. No, oh, buddy. I know. You know, Brando, if you caught the virus, it would get you out of there. Yes. Yes, you are absolutely right. I've actually game this whole thing out follow me if i get it this is my place she's got to go oh interesting <laughs> yeah, I, I will love you again in a week but will i love you probably not can we please just play cards okay okay we're starting mike it's on you I fold. Hey, Bobby, um, I'm interested in your flight tonight. Is it nonstop? Nonstop. That's a cute idea. Let me actually tell you about my flight. I go from Barcelona to London to Atlanta to JFK to Detroit to Chicago. So, you know, if all goes well, I should be home like early June. Oh, my God. Oh, speaking of insane travel, you know what movie still holds up? Planes, trains, and automobiles. Hmm. She didn't know who Steve Martin was either. Hey, she's smart about other stuff, okay? Brando, why is she still living with you? Well, I mean, what can I do, you know? We're COVID stuck. Okay, so you're living with a girl that you don't even like, that you're not having sex with until who knows when. And we're having sex. Oh. Double high five! Boo! <laughs> oh, oh, my food is here. So, oh, by the way, I fold. You ordered in? What'd you order? When you like to know. <laughs> oh, hi! <laughs> oh, you are sexy in that mask. I know that. <laughs> Whoa, sounds like Steph is getting kind of cozy with the delivery guy, huh? Yeah. Um, um. Can you just mute her, please. I am definitely not muting her. Anyway, it's on you. I raised. You only raise because you're mad at Stephanie. Then I raise. Okay, I'm not mad, and I'm folding out of not being mad. Okay. Uh, hey, who was that? Oh, uh, it's just Postmates. Oh, but Peach, Peach, how weird is this? The guy that delivered it is some guy that I went out on a blind date with like 12 years ago. No <laughs> way. way, that is so weird. I know, he was cute too. He was a chef, but you know, his restaurant, it got closed down, so now he's doing Postmates to get by, which is, you know, sucks, but. Oh, wow, you got all that out of a 20 second conversation. I mean, he sounds great. I don't know, Kenny, but I tell you what, he is real and a person who is not afraid of getting COVID from me. Oh, he sounds like a dream. Oh no, no. What, what's wrong? They canceled my flight. They canceled my flight again. No. Oh my God, no! Bullshit. Total bullshit. Dude, that sucks. So what, what happens now? Do they just stick you on another one? I don't even know. I have to call them. Oh my God, I can't take this anymore. Babe, I have to come home tonight. Okay. It's okay. No, it's okay. babe, it's not okay. I have something I have to give you and it cannot wait. Is it perishable? 
You got me ham? No. Yeah. No, I can't. Ugh. God damn it. Ugh. Wow. I didn't even know Bobby could get mad. Yeah, it's a little scary. Yeah, like maybe we should go? But it's just getting good. Sweetie? Yeah, I'm here, I'm here. Oh my God, you know what? I do not want to wait another day. Babe, I got you something like seven weeks ago before everything shut down and I've been waiting to give it to you, but I cannot wait another minute. So, um, I know we said that we were never gonna get married and I know that a piece of paper should not be what keeps us together. And I also know that it's not our beautiful little girl who keeps us together. It is the fact that I love you more and more every single day. For the person you are, for the person you're becoming, and if there is one goddamn thing we have learned from this horrifying pandemic, it is that the only thing in the entire world that really matters is the people you love, right? Your people. And if you're lucky enough to have your people, then you should hold them tight every single day and tell them how much you love them. So, PJ, I love you so much. And I know that it's stupid and I know it's old fashioned, but guess what? I don't care because I wanna marry you. So, will you marry me? Please? Wow. I, oh, oh, okay. You guys, uh, maybe we should give them a little privacy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. All right, honey, this just um, really caught me off guard. You know, I uh, I thought we, we we talked about this. Wait, wait. Hold on a second, guys. Just because you turned the video off, we know. You can still hear us. So should we just turn our video back on? I mean, or you could just exit the meeting. The thing is, Robert, we are in the middle of a hand. Yeah, and I have to see this because not for nothing, Bobby, but this is just so romantic. Yes. I'm sorry. I just, it truly, it just, it is. Well, so PJ, what are you going to say? You, you can't just not say anything. Um, it's none of our business. Let's just, you know, let's just go give them privacy. Okay. No, that's fair. That's fair. And, and since we're calling it quits here, it looks like I'm the chip leader, so I win. Uh, if you guys all want to just Venmo me the money, that'd be great. No, 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 no. What are you talking about? No. <laughs> Come on. Guys, I own a bar. All right? I've been hemorrhaging money lately. You can give me this measly 80 bucks. No way. Bobby. God, I love you. I really do. I um. Wait, I think hold on. Wait. It says the Zoom call is ending in one minute. Wait, why is it saying that? Mike, no. Are you kidding me? Did you not pay for the unlimited call? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Sign up for the pro and get a monthly payment? Besides, they normally just extend it for free anyway. Uh, uh, so, so wait, wait, wait. We're, we're done. Okay. All right. So I win. So I'll look for the. No, door. you don't. No, win. no Brandy, no. you do not win. We'll whack it up. Oh, don't you get upset because I can't believe you care about the poker. You know what? I don't. You're right. Um, I love you. And I'm going to come see you right now. Really? What's that, babe? Uh, no, uh, it's just the call's wrapping up. No, no I I'll introduce you next time. Oh, Kenny! Don't touch me. Shave the beard first. Babe. Wait, so, DJ, are you going to... Are you gonna answer me? Bobby, sweetie, I am not saying no. I mean, you okay, mean- Okay, that's great, that's great. Me? So what are you saying? Are you saying yes? I am saying, what I'm saying is- Oh, it's over. Guys, I'm sorry. Look, I'm cheap. I... Oh, Jesus, I smell smoke. I gotta go. Hi, I'm Kelly Stewart, Stephanie from My Boys. I'm also a very proud ambassador of a wonderful organization, Kids in the Spotlight, that gives foster youth a way to work through their trauma through the art of filmmaking. We turn hardship 
into artistic release by teaching foster youth to write and act in their own short films directed by industry professionals. These brave youth are the next generation of television and film stars. Kids in the Spotlight to me means family, um, opportunity, and long-term healing. Kids is a home for hope, for passion, for perseverance. Kids in the Spotlight means I get to express my creativity and my individuality. Kids means a lot to me because they are there for me when I didn't believe in myself and they were there pushing me to succeed. And to Kids in the Spotlight, I love you guys with all my heart. And I'm hoping that I can return a favor to you guys in the future because you guys helped me so much with my speech. Kids to me means uh, hope and welcome. Um, every time I'm with anybody from um, the kids organization, I feel I feel like I'm treated like family. We are so grateful to Sony and to the cast and creators of My Boys for giving us this opportunity to spread the word. So please visit www.kidsinthespotlight.org and see what we do. And if it's in your heart to donate.